Hey beautiful people, this is your girl T and I'm back. I am back to do an unboxing slash first impressions and a little mini review of this A4 LED light pad by Elise. Um, Elise. All right, they contacted me and asked me to do a review of this product um, on my YouTube channel. Um, using it with diamond painting so you guys I have not done any diamond painting videos like sitting here doing any diamond painting with you all but we're gonna do that just for this video okay so let me go ahead and get started opening this package so um, it says that it's before we get started it says that it's um, lightweight and portable has a wide application adjustable brightness and USB powered okay let's see what the back says here Product specifications. Um, the brand is Elise. It's an LED light pad. Model A4-1. Dimensions are 13.19 by 9.25 by 0.14. The illuminated area is 12.13 by 9.25 inches. Operating voltage is DC 5, 5V voltage. Or it's 5 voltage. Uh, watt power is 3 watts. And then their email address here. And this is made in China. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. Uh -oh. Let's see. I'm gonna rip a box. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, there's some, oh wow. Okay, so we have a little baggie. First, let's start off with that. Um, in the baggie, looks like we have some little Plastic clips. Pretty powerful. They're pretty tight, too. All right. So we get two of those plastic clips. All right. We get an eraser. An eraser. Okay. And then a pencil sharpener. A little pencil sharpener. Okay. Get that out of the way. What else do we have in here? Okay, here is the cord. So this is the USB charging. I have not charged it, so we may have to pause, come back and charge it. Um, but this, you know, you can put this in a block. And then this goes inside of the, um, the board. Okay. What else in here? Okay, now let's take this one out. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Make sure everything else is out of here. All right. Everything else is out. Box down. All right. So it looks like we also get a pencil. I love how um, minimalistic this pencil is. It's just a wooden pencil, wooden lead pencil. I like that. All right. Then we have some pictures here. I guess this, these are pictures... Maybe for tracing practice. I'm going to open them up and see what's in there. There's several of them in here. If I can get this open. Uh-oh. Maybe we'll do some um, tracing on this one as well. Some tracing. All right. So we have a picture of a dolphin. Picture of a dog. Okay, all right, we have some flies. I hate them. <laughs> okay, we have some flowers. Okay, some plant life, some botanicals, some owls. We have um, an eagle or a falcon. And then we have a cute little dog. All right, so I'm not sure really why. They, it's probably for practicing. Okay, so then it looks like they've given us some blank sheets of paper. And I think this is to practice the tracing. So I think I like that they give you some stuff to, you know, test with. As soon as you open the box, you have everything you need to get started. You have your pencil, you have eraser, you have 
um, your clips. They give you some pic some sample pictures to try. And then they give you some paper. So you have some blank sheets of paper. Um, probably a handful here. Maybe like maybe 10 to 20 pages of paper. Um, and then you get a cleaning cloth. I'm going to take everything out of the packaging. This is a cleaning cloth for your, your board. It's nice, a nice size cleaning cloth. Okay, put that up there. And then we get to the board. So it looks like it's nicely packaged. You have the foam on all four corners. We'll take those off. I'm just gonna toss them. <laughs> all right, and then they have it in like this little um, foam sleeve, if you will. Okay. All right, toss that. Okay, so we get this. It says, to celebrate the fifth anniversary of our company, please contact our support team to get the gift below for free. Quantities are limited. One A4 size fluorescent drawing board pen. Oh, drawing. No, I'm sorry. One A4 size fluorescent drawing board pen included. Only one gift can be claimed per user. Ooh, that's nice. While quantities are limited. So you may want to go on and try to do that. All right. That's nice. All right, here we go. We have some instructions. All right, so we have the copyboard instructions, specifications, attention. Um, okay, and it's all on one sheet, okay? So it's a micro USB charging adapter. Okay, so as far as as far as possible below 300 copy paper transmission of light will be better. Okay, so it's it wants you to use 300 below 300 um 300g weight paper weight. So um you know, that's probably why they gave you some sample paper so you can see that. And so what else do they say? When using the copy machine, the room lights dimmed, the effect will be better. Okay, so basically you gotta turn your lights down low, turn your lights down low, and use this um, this nice little pad. I was trying to see if it has any like sticky, because sometimes they have a sticky on top of it. But yeah, look at there is the port where you're plugging it in. This is the power button here. It's a nice size board. Let's take one of those sheets of paper and see the space we have. Let me take one with an image on it. Oh yeah. Okay, so as you can see, this paper is a 8 by 11 sheet of paper. And so you're going to get 9 by 12 space on this board. So, yep. Very nice. Very nice size. So when we come back, we'll be working a little bit. I'll probably start with tracing. We'll do the tracing first, and then we'll come back and do some diamond painting with it, with the lights down low. All right, y'all. See you in a moment. All right, so I've turned down the lights, and um, actually, let me try one more light, just a second. It may be too dark. Yeah, it's gonna be too dark. Never mind. All right, so um, this is the board. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a sheet of paper on the screen. Okay. I'm gonna put a sheet of paper here. All right, and then I'm gonna take a blank sheet. Now I'm not gonna trace the whole thing, but we're gonna see how much we can see. And actually, I'm going to zoom in. I really like the size of the board. And we're gonna try doing some tracing on this. I'm gonna adjust the light. I hope my screen doesn't act funky. 
So that's the third brightest. Okay, better results with lights off. So I'm gonna turn the lights off, you guys, just so you guys can see. Okay, that's pretty dark, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And then I'm gonna try it with dim lights, but I like the way that it looks with this darker light. Um, I feel like I can see better. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trace the outline of this dolphin. And then I'm going to, I'll just do the bottom half of the dolphin and then I'll turn the lights back on. Um, I'll turn the lights back on and we'll take a look at tracing with more, with just a dim light. All right, so light back on. All right, so I'm gonna continue tracing now <clears throat> with just dim lights. Um, you can still see uh, the outline here, but I think that, um, for me, I would prefer to, to do that with the lights darker. I don't know if it's just the lighting in my room here. Um, but I like the, and I'm like off of a line here because I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. I'm just doing the outline. Um, just to get a quick, oh, quick trace on this. I do like the board. Um, I just don't know, like I have one other board and I have not really used that one. But this is pretty fun. He's gonna look so wonky because I'm like not paying attention to how I'm tracing him. I'm just tracing like no lines matching, it's all off. But you can still see it with the lights dim. I just, I think I like it better with the lights dark. Um, so. I mean, you know, to each his own, to each his own, and that. Yeah, so, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and take my picture <laughs> off. You guys don't wanna see this, it's probably so horrible. He has a too pointy of a nose, of a, um, of a nose here, and that's because I wasn't tracing him very good. But, as you can see, um, I'll turn my light back on so we can see. Um, you can see that it was, I was able to um, trace on that. All right, so, ooh, yeah, you can see much better. I guess the clips would help me, right? <laughs> you guys, I'm so new to diamond painting, like, on screen, so you guys, I guess the clips are to help me keep this thing in place. I'm going to try it. Let's see. I don't want to get that in there though. All right, so I'm going to just flip up this one little section here. This diamond painting did not come with any special papers to like, I know people are saying use contact paper, um, you know, in those sections and stuff like that. So, but I'm going to do the F's because I know for sure that I have number 10 in the little box. Oh, you guys, I even bought this little box here. <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks to Lavelia from Lavelia's Coloring, I was able to get a box for these. So I'm gonna find number 10. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little diamond painting with this board. So you guys, um, Please enjoy what you can. I'm gonna probably have to scoot this up a little bit. I'm not done diamond painting on screen and I wanna be able to let you guys see. So, 
Come on, you. This is some sticky paper. All right. Stay there. Stay, stay. Okay. Might have to hold that up. All right, so we're going to go with number 10. It's a pretty pink color. You guys probably can't see that because I have it dim. But I'm going to go ahead and pour a few in my little tray. And we're going to do some diamond painting. So you guys enjoy the music. So there you have it. I've done a diamond painting section here um, with these pretty pink colors. Um, let me go ahead and turn my light on so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, so yes, I did this section here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the light adjusted so you guys can see again how many times you can adjust it. I'm gonna turn the light off. So we're going to go from no light, first, second, third, off, first, second, third. Um, I feel like the board, it's dim. Um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that dim. I, I prefer a little bit brighter of a light. However, I think this would be, this would suffice if you're looking for an inexpensive light board. Um, this board retails, I believe, for about $20 to $22 on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link for you if you're interested in checking it out. One thing I do like is that they give you not just the board, but you're getting um, some additional tools with it. For $20, bucks, you are getting your charger, the board, paper, tracing, practice sheets, um, a pencil, eraser. What else did I leave out? Pencil, eraser, and a pencil sharpener. Yes, as well as the cleaning cloth. Let me turn the light back on so you guys can see. <laughs> as well as the cleaning cloth. Okay, so again, um, you guys check it out. It's The board is called Elise. It's by the Elise brand. Okay, E-L-I-C-E. -E. You guys can check them out. And um, if you are interested in the board, go for it. Would I recommend this? If it's your first board, yeah, I recommend it. You don't want to go out and spend 
um, $50, $60 on a light board. You just want something to do, you know, for diamond painting or coloring, something inexpensive. You know, there's a lot of these on Amazon and there's all different brands. Um, I think you can't go wrong with 20 bucks. So this is my honest opinion, first impressions of this board. Um, I would prefer the, the third light to be a little bit brighter, but it's okay for the purpose that I'm using it for. All right, y'all. Until next time, take care.